Please stay tuned. Welcome! Welcome! A slumber nana monkey toy for you, mister! I made it myself! Don't worry, I'm not taking any money for it! Do I look like someone who'd place that monkey beside my pillow? Well, you never know. You look really cute after all. Ah, uh, you... What? Wait a minute. Am I dreaming? Are you Miss Robin? Hello. Oh my, I was just listening to your newest album. What brings you to Dreamflux Reef? I've been frequenting this place lately, actually. We just hadn't crossed paths until now. Don't worry, you'll be seeing me around these parts for a while more. After all, the Slumber Nana Association's entrance test doesn't seem that easy. The Slumber Nana Association? Are, are, are you planning on becoming a member? I must be dreaming! Two of my favorite things together?! Uh, I must be the luckiest man alive! If it's you, Miss Robin, then of course we must make an exception and let you in! You don't have to give me special treatment. I'm just a normal person, like every other Slumber Nana Monkey fan out there. But you know what they say! Good things come in pairs! There's no harm in making a concession sometimes. Here! Bring this with you the next time you head over. They'll know what to do once they see it. And don't worry, we're still playing by the book. This is just to keep them from making things difficult for you. Something else? Not everyone deserves a bullet in them. They haven't gone that far... yet. Oh, I remember you. Last minute cramming isn't going to help, you know. Don't worry. I'm a monkey expert now. About as much as I'm a master marksman. Ask away. If you say so. You're taking the Slumber Nana Association way too lightly if you ask me. But here goes. What tiers make up the Slumber Nana Association's membership hierarchy? Which of the following is most likely to be a famous quote by Slumber Nana Monkey? Bingo! On to the last question now. Although the Slumber Nana Association has never banned any derivative works inspired by Slumber Nana, what kind of derivative works should you refrain from creating? Exactly! That's the most despicable form of slander. Congratulations, you've passed! That was impressive. This way, sir. Let's go, partner. Time to see what those troublemakers are capable of. I'm afraid it won't be wise for us to continue our investigations together, Mr. Butella. As expected of one in a seat of power in the family. You're a lot sharper than you let on. Sharper than you let on. It's hard to tell what all of this is building towards. It'll be prudent for one of us to stay on the outside. Huh. Strange. 
They're linked, but this place... I don't detect any noise here. The answer's simple. The gun may fire, but it's the bullet that does the killing. So, Mr. Boothill, I'm familiar with the Galaxy Rangers and their exploits, as well as with the entities they pursue. For you to stop here, something must be happening in Dreamflux Reef. Hey, don't be a stranger. You can just call me partner. Yeah. <sighs> monkeys, monkeys, more monkeys. They're all muddled fudging monkeys. Evil Ninja Osaru, that doggone muddled fudger. This is way too familiar, sad for comfort. Things better not turn out the way Rappa feared they would. Gotcha. Well, I'll leave things out here to you then. Oh, thanks for all the help so far. You're too kind. I should be thanking you instead. You have my gratitude for offering your assistance, Mr. Boothill. You live up to the name of a Galaxy Ranger indeed. <laughs> this ain't my turf. So let me just make some things clear. I don't give a rat's behind about people doing good or evil. Whatever's about to unfold in that little club full of Sherpa brains is no different from the usual stuff I do elsewhere. Well, things ain't gonna be pretty, but justice will be served. And that's all I care about. I see. Then... I wish you all the best. As for me, I will try to trace the noise to its source. We'll see each other again later, Mr. Boothill. Oh, fudge me. There ain't nothing strange about this place at all. These ash foals are good. <sighs> that was quick. <laughs> well, butter my banana and call me a biscuit. We kicking off the member initiation right so soon. Ah, bring it on, baby. One ninja's more than enough for this game of infiltration. Wait a banana. Is that me? To defeat evil Ninju Osaru, this girl has become the successor to the dazzling ninjutsu. Adopting the codename of Rappa, she began training under Master Kucha. To help Rappa master the secrets of the ninja arts, Master Kucha subjected her to harsh trials. And Rappa, in her quest to liberate the ninja capital from darkness, determinedly endured every test. Master Kucha is aware that Rappa is maturing into a true ninja, and her destined mission will soon unfold. Ninja Initiate Rappa. Yes, Master. You've trained under me for five years. After rigorous tests and trials, you've mastered hundreds of ninja techniques. I hereby bestow upon you the title of Dazzling Ninja, entrusting you to be my weapon. 
to defeat the evil ninja and guide the ninja capital into the future. Thank you, Master Kucha. This is my greatest honor. Take the scroll with you, for within its pages lie the secrets of Dazzling Ninjutsu. It shall cast a brilliance that makes fiendlings fear and destroy the evil ninja's intricate matrices. Paint it throughout the ninja capital. Banish the shadows with ink and raise the banner against evil. What should I paint? I do not know, my disciple. You may paint anything that you wish. This is your own ninjutsu. So, the decision is yours to make. Uh, baseballer! Uh, baseball bat ninja! Old friend! A deer! Uh, stay awake! Uh, don't fall asleep! Hmm. We still can't reach boot hill. Uh, do you think we can trust Rappa? This might sound rude, but the only proof of her being a ranger is her peculiar behavior. But her concerns are valid. I also find the sudden obsession with monkeys to be rather uh, unusual. Come to think of it, ever since we arrived here, the presence of that little monkey has been making me feel a little unsettled. Let's go and take a look at the classes, shall we? Uh-huh. I thought all classes were cancelled. A Dreamweaving class will start soon at Dreamweaver Academy. It's more part of the anniversary celebrations than it is a regular class. Slumber Nana Monkey's rise in popularity seems quite unnatural. If someone is stirring things up behind the scenes, we need to pay close attention to the actions of the teaching staff. Uh, sure. We have to attend classes sooner or later anyway. The dream leaving classes at the Stage Plaza. Let's go take a look! along the same lines as us. You're mistaken! Utterly mistaken! Slumber Nana Monkey is by no means an ordinary cartoon character! Dreams are the canvas of one subconscious. Within it, even a banana can carry intricate emotions. Not to mention the slumber nana monkey, adored by countless ripe bananas! Yo! Baseball Pet Ninja! Ninja Ruri! Ninja Hiryu! Uh, you don't need to individually greet everyone. So, are you also here for the class, Miss Rappa? Certainly. Great ninjas think alike. This class dojo seems shady. It harbors feelings. Exercise caution, fellow ninja warriors. Seems like we've got everyone. All right, let's dive right into our academics. <laughs> Today's session is about decorating the campus to your liking. Here, grab one of these. The materials that form the dreamscape are completely different from those in reality, and the same theories apply to dream weaving. 
What you're holding is memetic dye, which is made from memoria. Let's use it to decorate this wall. The theme will be everyone's favorite monkey, Slumber Nana Monkey! So this class is about painting? No, no. Dream weaving is completely different from painting. Let me show you, Banana. you paint that so quickly? It's like magic! Calm your mind. Visualize what you want to create. Channel your emotions to resonate with the materials. And there you have it. Your imagination will come to life in the dream. That's dream weaving, Banana! I see. <laughs> Banana... Hmm? Banana, banana, don't worry! Mimetic dye can affect the viewer's emotions. It seems this painting has helped you understand banana gibberish better! <laughs> Great! Ah, that's it for my demonstration. Who would like to give it a try? What is happening? My mouth was running on autopilot. This class definitely seems fishy. I'll go and investigate. Uh, but you'd draw too much attention if you started speaking bananies too, Don Hung. Uh, how about he and I go instead? We're not usually that serious, so even if we mess up, it won't stand out too much. Great. Let's head out. Uh, Banana Advisor? Well, we would love to try. <laughs> me, uh, me too! Excellent! You can all come up here. Those who excel might even earn some course credits, Banana! Calm your mind, visualize what you want to create, and channel your emotions to... What, again? Can she really pull this off? First, calm your mind. Then, visualize what you want to create. Long time no see, Outlander. You are our clan's savior, and the king hunter who took away the trash. 
How could you give in now? Shut it, monkey from another land. You can't just break our destined chain so easily. Lastly, channel your emotions to resonate with the materials. what you believe is right. Let's move on to the next student. What in bananas is this? Well, let me explain. Ninja, six-faced ice! Such formidable ice mastery! Ninja Ruri truly proves her might! Well, this dream weaving method feels just like condensing six phased ice! I can barely tell them apart! Th that's impressive, Mana! Weaving such a large object in such a short time is comparable to the work of a pro dream weaver! Wow, Mr. Rekka was telling the truth. I truly am a genius! Right, I'm giving it a big fat zero. Uh, why? I gave you a team! And that slumber nana monkey! Not this giant useless block of eyes! Even pro Dreamweaver monkeys are expected to follow what is requested of them! <sighs> What even? The Prof Nana was just encouraging freedom in the classroom, and you're not even making the slightest effort in your class! You're allowed to disrupt my class, and I get to flunk you for that! That's freedom for you! You pay a price for trying to be creative! Now, get back to your seat for now! Mm. Uh -huh. How unreasonable! Moving on to the last student. Uh, where's your design? Slumber Nana Monkey. Slumber Nana Monkey. All right, that's enough. Mumbling won't weave you any dreams. You're better off snacking on bananas with that useless trap of yours. Zero points for turning in nothing! Wait, I just need some more time. Even if I did give you all the time in the cosmos, you won't have anything! Not when you are not passionate about Slumber Nana Monkey! <sighs> You're at the bottom of the class, aren't you? No, not exactly. I was also the second to last a couple of times. Ah, I'm really sick and tired of seeing students like you. A monkey with no talent for climbing will never reach the bananas! Why volunteer only to embarrass yourself? 
It's better to face reality and give up on this path sooner rather than later, Bana. You can't possibly understand the affection in my words. Both you and the other girl have some talent. Unlike her, she has no talent whatsoever to speak of. Pursuing something she can never reach is straying farther from happiness. That's why it's only right to give up, Bana. Have you concluded your articulation, sir? If so, please cast your attention this way. But what? But who are you? And when did you get here? Wait, what in the banana is this? I present to you the Dazzling Seal. I am eagerly anticipating your appraisal of it, big head feeling. Feel that thought out of your head! Is that permanent ink? This magnificence is conceived by none other than Patissier Ninja Initiate. At that precise instant you turned around, a look of dawning Eureka graced her visage. Inspiration surged through her, and this came to fruition in just point one microseconds. Imperceptible, even with a ninja's hypersight. What on the nonsense is that? I know it was you! Cooked salmon cannot swim, just as ninjas never deceive. All Ninja Initiate Patissier needed was a little nudge. I willingly became her paintbrush to aid her in completing her training. Is that fair to say, Ninja Initiate Patissier? Huh? Um... As stated in the Cosmic Ninjutsu inscriptions, Pythons slither without feet, as Manta Rays glide without wings. If your decision is firm, don't hesitate to roar with conviction! <sighs> Whatever it takes, I really need to earn my credits! Cheating banana! Big head feeling. Educators impart knowledge, cultivate skills, and clarify doubts. But they must never deny any ninja initiate of their way of the ninja! Uh, yeah! You were being way too mean to her! And my six phase dice is pretty good too! You've really been annoyed me, unruly monkey! You barged in here, disrupting my class, and now you're even corrupting my students with ruinous ideas! Get out! Or my iron fists will show you some banana enlightenment! The same goes for you, no good monkey inciters! What's it got to do with us? Alas, the pretense of your tyranny has shattered. With that, a magnificent hunt shall be set in motion. Give it to them, Assistant Nanas! Show those unruly students what it means to be disciplined! Banana! Stay in step. Dreams do come true. Free will, or was it fate? On the still waters of oblivion. This is more than a battle. Sex in the sea! 
Now that you are vanquished at our feet, allow me to recite to you the ninja mantra. Doesn't matter what the rules say. If you bring the violence, then the violence is coming back your way. All right, girl. You've already crushed him. The university failed to take these banana advisors in hand. Please accept my apology for the distress they brought upon you. Are you perhaps the governor of Paperfold Town? Governor? <laughs> you humor me. I'm merely an educator. Here on our campus, our students are the true masters. I came over after hearing of a ruckus in the Dreamweaving class, but it seems like it was these Sweet Dreams troop who went out of control. My apologies once again. Mm, pardon me, but I don't think I've seen you around here before. You're not a student of Paperfold University, are you? I'm only asking because we know a stowaway has recently snuck into Penacony. Eyewitness accounts from the Bloodhounds describe someone with pink hair, red attire, and a blazing scarf. And you seem to match that description. No need to beat around the bush, sir. Of course. What I'm trying to say is... If the stowaway is indeed plotting something nefarious, it wouldn't make sense for them to attend classes at Paperfold University. So, I'm certain you're just an inquisitive student. Wait, what? Every banana seedling has the potential to bear fruit. That's why everyone deserves banana enlightenment. Paperfold University advocates freedom in education. So feel free to sit in our classes and be sure to apply yourself. Join me in a round of applause for our new student. <gasps> Why do you call yourself a ninja? Are there really ninjas on your planet? Hmm. Uh, Rappa? Thank you for standing up for me earlier. Um, could you show me how you did that graffiti? I mean, your ninja move? That's ninjutsu I learned by myself. It's hard to teach it to others. But I say with certainty that you will discover your own way of the ninja someday. Yes, destiny is no different than a banana peel. Like bananas within their peels, we can never break free of its encapsulation. Looks like things blew up real quick. Everyone's flocked here to see what's going on. My own way of the ninja? Uh, I don't even know what that is. Maybe I should just practice monkey weaving. Bana... Bana? Jeez! Please tell me they're still duking it out with the teacher! Hey, isn't that Montana? Oh, say cheese! And Don Hung and Superstar 2! We meet again! <laughs> um... I came up with that name on the fly, so let's forget about it. Uh, just call me March. Gotcha! You can drop Montana, too! I'm now known as Denisovan426! Denisovan426? That's right! I finally got into the Slumber Nana Association, the GOAT Club at Paperfold University, and that's my name in the club! Boring and not special at all! 
The Slumber Nana Association was founded by fans of Slumber Nana Monkey. Our fan base stretches far beyond the campus and includes ripe bananas from all over Panacone. We create fan art and merch based on Slumber Nana, host Slumber Nana cons, and hold a few other off-campus events from time to time. <gasps> Bitching to join us? I can refer you! Oh, wow, that sounds like a lot of fun! Can you get all of us in? Count on me! It's just that the club has a rigorous screening procedure and we only take in a few members each time. If I refer Marchin, then the two of you... Uh... I'll pass. Okie dokie! This coveted spot will go to March then. Oh, there's an off-campus event happening later today at a supposedly mysterious location. I can't wait! Great. Uh, let me say goodbye to those two, and then you can show me where to sign up. Good job playing along back there, guys. Things are getting weirder, huh? This monkey even has a fan club now. But since we have a way to get into the club, I'll go see what they're up to. Will you be alright on your own? Yeah, it's less suspicious than all three of us joining the club together. Let's split up for now. This way you two can keep an eye on what's going on in the campus. Please, be careful. Aww, I will. Don't worry about me. You too! Catch you guys later! Hmm. I hope she'll be okay. Um, <clears throat> Prof Nano was clearly steering the conversation his way earlier. Let's go find Rappa and hear what she thinks. Bana. What was that? Huh? Slumber Nana Monkey? I see a tag on it. P. Lynn Ritchie, Fortune Academy. This is the toy you ordered. It looks rather unique. off. What now? All right, let's go get the toy back then. Does this toy have a life of its own? <sighs> Isn't this the way to the Fortune Academy? Rappa, when did she get ahead of us? Give me a break, miss. I I'll repeat this for the millionth time. I'm not evil, nor do I sell any gorge robe. Nay, ninja initiate merchant. The other initiates have verified that these fainling puppets are from your shop. Confess at once. Are you under the spell of evil ninja Osaru? Oh, hey, it's you. Uh, please, uh, help me talk some sense into her. I'm just a well-behaved student working to pay my tuition fees, not whatever initiate she thinks I am. Never mind that. The monkey you sold us keeps running off on its own. Are you sure it's just a toy? Feeling puppets imbued with life. The epitome of ninja automation. You rich folks are just being unreasonable. 
if, if it were really some high-end stuff, would I be selling it at such a low price? Please, take pity on this poor student. Have a heart. You know, as if squeezing in sales between classes isn't enough, I haven't slept a wink in three days just so I can get this batch of toys ready. Richie? How could you speak so rudely to your customers? Oh, oh, Fortune Banana Advisor. The customer is always right. Do they not teach you that? Greetings, dear students. This fiendling assumes the form of an insect-like pest. Clearly a lowly fiendling. What did you just say? Repeat that if you dare. Uh, an ad advisor? The customer is always right. some misunderstanding about Fortune Academy's new product. These monkey toys are made this lively so that they bring more emotional value to our young customers. Paperfold University might seem to be an enjoyable place, but beneath their peels, many students are in fact bogged down by loneliness. You know, struggling to embrace the vibrant energy here in the moment of soul but also realizing that they're unable to live as the Penaconians do. I'll tell itself to you, won't use your things without asking. You can trust it completely without worrying about it sharing your secrets with others. Consider it your bestest pal, Nana. I should get to my class too, but do me a favor, buddies. Just come look for me if you need anything. Let's not involve Banana Advisor again. Uh, I doubt he'll say anything more. Let's just follow him and see what we can learn. Banana! Banana! This atmosphere. Behold, a sensational wave that's been raking in all the money these days. Eat bananas, not to day away. Worry no more, be happy every day. Now, let's take some time to think about this slogan. What is it about Slum Banana Monkey that allowed it to spark a banana frenzy in Pinnacle? How about that gray-haired student? Wait, what are you doing here? Oh, I, never mind. You can answer the question, then. and tourists eventually grow weary from the endless festivities. Those famed tycoons and festive superstars that we pursue lead lives we can never hope to experience. So dramatic, eventful, and out of this world. But Slum Banana Monkey epitomizes a wholly different lifestyle. Sleeping and snacking on bananas without a care in the world. This is what your happiness should be. 
Advisor, I sold everything from the last batch. That's fantastic news! We underestimated Slumber Down the Monkey's popularity! Come with me, Richie. I'll, I'll get you more stock. So the Fortune Academy is supposed to promote these toys. But why did they rope students into their plan? Banana. Banana. Hmm. It's a shame we don't understand it's Bana gibberish. Oh, I have an idea. Can you use clockwork on it? I'm counting on you, Bana. Huh? It's working! Huh. Seems to be leading us somewhere. Let's catch up. Why does it feel like I've been on a wild monkey chase all day? Fortune Banana Advisor? Aren't we supposed to pick up more stock? I don't see anything here. Jeez! Dreamweaver Banana Advisor said he'd get a new batch ready. Looks like they can't rely on him, but not this. By the way, Banana Advisor, did those people willingly become monkeys? <laughs> of course, Richie! Can't you see how happy it is being a monkey? <laughs> well, uh, I... I... guess not. <laughs> I take it you haven't been paying attention in class, huh? Or did those guest students plant unrealistic ideas in your head again? Do you have the slightest idea about the backgrounds of those nameless? You're just a poor student from a faraway fringe planet, one that relies on the IPC for aid. Do you really think you could compare yourself to them? I know I can't measure up to those bigwigs, but there are things I hope to achieve, too. I get it. You're aiming to make a lot of money. After all, the sky-high tuition fees at Paperfold University can really take a toll on the average middle-class family. Oh, I heard your father came to Patagonia too. Oh, he's been working day and night ever since taking up a new job at Dawn Factory, hasn't he? Oh, but no, how touching. Uh, how did you know that? But no, but no. He swung by a few days ago to check on how you're doing. I took the time to chat with him. Looking at how old he is, my heart really went out to him. Throwing in most of his life's savings, only to slog his guts out in a foreign land. I could sense his exhaustion and distress. So, 
I instilled in him the tenets of our academics, convincing him that becoming a slumbered and a monkey is the right thing to do. Oh, that's right. He's in the batch of toys that you just delivered. Ooh, quite a turn of events, huh? What? How could you? But uh... Could it be? The father of Ninja Initiate Merchant. Merchant Chief? Why? Because your dad was simply too tired. I asked if he ever had regrets, and he said no. But when I stripped away that banana peel facade, and what I found was the expulsion warning letter. Of course, but no! Why didn't I realize this sooner? You're a hopeless student. Rather than squandering our educational resources on you, why don't you become one of Fortune Academy's products? At least scrape some work out of yourself, but no! <laughs> I assured your father that you get to be happy like him. It's time for you to rest, Richie. Why did it come to this? What use is it for me keeping up the struggle if you've already given up, Dad? Dad. There's nothing else keeping me going. But not. Something's happening to Richie. We have to stop him. Fiendling pest! What tricks did you pull on Ninja Initiate Merchant? Yeah! How did a ninja get in here? That's not the point. Hold your banana, students! Allow me to explain myself. I was only trying to help relieve those pitiful kids of their suffering, letting them enjoy the rest of their happy life from a different perspective, and maybe make some extra cash while I'm at it. But this isn't anything new in Panacone! You may have your esteemed background and a never-ending supply of credits, but that's not the case for my students. All I did was offer a better alternative, one that both father and son willingly took up. Seems like a fair and banal-worthy deal, wouldn't you say so? As stated in the Cosmic Ninjutsu inscriptions, Sizzling yakitori knows not refreshing ice, as chilled sashimi knows not blazing fire. If Ninja Initiate Merchant has indeed chosen the way of the Fiend, it is not my place to intervene. But not jeez! I didn't count on you being this reasonable. Your words alone will not suffice. Ninja Initiate Merchant, is this truly your intention? Bana? He does not seem capable of a response. Merchant Chief, is this a willing decision of yours? Uh, uh, Deceitful feeling. You spoke with a forked tongue. They can't prove a word of your claims. Bananas! Monkeys can't speak the human language! In that case... Your calling is to render those in misery blind and deaf? Oh, utter absurdity! The path to hell is paved with heavenly treasure. Devil's trying to fool you better get your head together. The hunters hide greed with a welcoming smile. Don't be beguiled, it could be your last smile. Censure shall not fall upon the ensnared ninja initiate, but the trap's orchestrator ought to be punished. I beckon the ninja hunt upon you! Say your final words, feedling pest! A banana was that! Assistant others! Beat her to a pulp! You can't those banana advisors are actual faculty members. Just what is your goal? Step 
up, let's see ya. <laughs> Take your positions. Free will, or was it fate? That's all you got? <laughs> Stay in step. <laughs> Fire pit, chip, chip. Fight to live! That's half the work. I'm still lost first of oblivion. I weep for the departed. <laughs> it too shall fall. Resorting to sorcery to turn ninjas into feedlings? Ugh, dreadfully horrid. Ah, <sighs> looks like he completely malfunctioned. Huh, something's awry. I believe I should have held back in the ninja battle just now. Perhaps someone is controlling these feedlings behind the scenes. No matter. The feedling deserves its rightful punishment. Ninja initiate merchant, though. Bana. Ninja initiate merchants succumb to their sorcery. He is expected to be out of action for a while. <sighs> Miss Rappa, can we talk about why the Rangers came to Penaconi now? Did you pick up on something, Ninja Hiryu? <sighs> Even though I had doubts before, it was only when I saw this that I felt sure of it. The sworn enemy of the Galaxy Rangers. The horrific scientist who transforms humans into monkeys. The evil ninja Osaru you spoke of. It's... Dr. Primitive. Isn't it? Astute! Evil ninja Osaru. It's definitely evil ninja Osaru! Member number 64 of the Genius Society, Dr. Primitive. No one knows his real name, but his atrocities are infamous throughout the cosmos. The most horrifying one of all has to be his atavistic experiment. The dozens of worlds he caught up in this experiment were mostly home to prosperous interstellar civilizations. But... Every single one of these planets was reduced to a regressed form of intelligence by the time he was done with them. Intellitrons deteriorated into mere machines. Zatskas regressed into birds. And even the most ubiquitous human civilizations were subjected to the same fate. Millions of apes and monkeys now wander amidst the ruins that they once called home. If Dr. Primitive is indeed behind this, we must alert the Astral Express and the family at once. We won't be able to avert this crisis on our own. Facing such an amoral emanator of erudition... <sighs> Even the slightest of negligence could bring unimaginable consequences. Your analysis is accurate. However, in my humble opinion, now may not be the best time to call the Harmony Shogunate for aid. As stated in the Cosmic Ninjutsu inscriptions, when the net is cast for a catch, ready yourself to land a fish or forgo your net. With evil Ninja Osaru lurking in the shadows, and our locations not yet compromised, I suggest laying low to avoid alerting the monkeys. Rest assured, I've delegated Silvergun Shira to investigate the Forbidden Ground. Being the chivalrous and exceptional ninja hero he is, I have faith Silvergun Shira will accomplish the assigned mission. At 
at this juncture, our priority is to rescue the ninja initiates of Paperfold Town. What ninja heroes would we be if we left those defenseless initiates to the monkeys? If we don't rescue those before us, how can we hope to save the world? Indeed. We must not leave the students to fend for themselves. There you are! I finally found you, my beloved talents! It's... Ninja Gamma! Oh! <laughs> I see this actor is creative with her words. Mr. Rekka? Um... Do you need our help with something? Ah, yes! Charmony Academy is filming a promotional video for their anniversary, but... The Banana Advisor hasn't found anyone that makes the cut. That's why I'm here! To recruit students with greater acting potential. Like you, a big shot with a brilliant past. And you, a superstar that everyone will have their eyes on. And this actress with personality. Please join us in the performance. Considering how Charmony Banana Advisor's a creator of the Slum Banana Monkey, I believe only young and talented people such as yourselves <clears throat> will be the ones to catch her discerning eye. Uh huh. I see. Thank you for thinking so highly of us, Mr. Rekka. We'll make sure to drop by. That's the way! You will be at the photography studio. See you later. Charmony Banana Advisor must be in league with the mastermind behind this. And... I can't help but feel like there's more than meets the eye with Mr. Rekka. I concur with you. Ninja Hiryu is a punctilious ninja indeed. Stream 4. 